In its 12 years of U.S. detention facility Guantanamo Bay, and it coincides now with new leads in the attack of the U.S. Embassy in Benghazi in 2012, Abu Sufin Kumu, a man detained at Guantanamo Bay, is believed to be involved in this attack. CCTV's Jim Spellman has a detailed report. He arrived at Guantanamo Bay in 2002, a probable member of al-Qaeda who trained at one of Osama bin Laden's training camps, fought alongside the Taliban in Afghanistan, and was an accused murderer and drug dealer in his native Libya. Then in September of 2007, Sufyan bin Kumu was released without a trial and sent back to Libya, where he spent about a year in prison before being released. Now U.S. officials suspect Kumu may have had a role in the 2012 attacks on the U.S. diplomatic mission in Benghazi. As first reported by the Washington Post, U.S. officials now believe he leads a branch of the militant group Ansar al-Sharia based in his hometown of Darna, Libya, and may have had a role in directing the assault, which killed U.S. Ambassador Christopher Stevens and three other Americans. Ansar al-Sharia al -Sharia in Benghazi and Ansar al-Sharia in Darna have been involved in terrorist attacks in the past, of course, against civilian targets, frequent assassinations, and attempted assassinations of security officials and political actors in eastern Libya can also uh, confirm that uh, that includes uh, the September 11th uh, attack uh, against the U.S. special mission and annex in Benghazi, Libya. Friday, the U.S. officially declared Kumu a specially designated global terrorist and Ansar al-Sharia a foreign terrorist group, making it illegal for Americans to assist the group and allowing the U.S. to seize the group's assets. Other militia members are already wanted by the U.S. in connection with the attack, and a U.S. investigation into the incident continues. Despite Kumu's known connections to al-Qaeda, the Obama administration maintains that the Benghazi attacks were not connected to al-Qaeda. The question is not whether individuals know each other. It's whether there is a direct link uh, between, uh, you know, uh, 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 Ansar al-Sharia and Benghazi and uh, core al-Qaeda. We have no indication still that remains the case that core al-Qaeda directed or planned uh, the Benghazi attack. But those denials won't calm critics who claim the Obama administration has bungled the Benghazi response and investigation. The case may tarnish the already troubled legacy of Guantanamo Bay as critics wonder how somebody known to have been on the al-Qaeda payroll and determined by the Pentagon to be a medium to high risk to the U.S. and its allies could be released only to fight again. Jim Spellman, CCTV, Washington.